up, Collectors? It's your brother DS, and we back with another one. Today we're going to discuss the reasons why a grown man still collects action figures. So, I'm going to do this in typical YouTube fashion, because that seems to be the thing to do. Give you a countdown. So we're going to do 10 reasons why, in my opinion, adult men still collect action figures. Now, there could be more reasons, but I'm going to just give you my 10. You can drop anything I miss down in the comments below. And speaking of comments below, you all make sure you like, share, and subscribe to the channel for more content, more reviews, more post videos all that good stuff all right i got my notes right here on the table so i don't miss anything right here y'all know how i do i always got notes on deck getting older we be getting stuff too easy so that's how we're gonna do this all right so i got these reasons they're not in any particular order i'm just gonna run them down as i go and that's how we're gonna do this all right so the first reason i got rolled down is nostalgia. Nostalgia has you buying all kinds of stuff. Nostalgia is pretty much your connection with the past. You know, you see something that you had as a kid and it just like jog your memory of that, of that time period. Your childhood might be, you know, the greatest period of your life. And so things like that draw you in to collecting. Like, one of the reasons I started back collecting in 2014 was because of my mom. When she passed, I used to think of like things she would do for us. And one of the things she did was, I was in the Transformers as a kid. So even though we was poor, my mother still always found a way to get us Transformers, even though she couldn't afford it. So, you know, stuff like that reminded me of my mother. And so when she passed, one of the first things I did to cope with her passing, I started back collecting Transformers. And here we are today, I'm still doing it. And that also ties into the whole as a kid thing. Like when I was a kid, I collected Transformers. So when I became an adult, that was my way of connecting to the past. Another reason is community. When you collect things like Transformers, One Six Figures, uh, the 118 cars, these things have communities built around them and people like to feel like they belong to something. So when you get into these things, you can find different groups, especially on Facebook, where you get to meet a ton of people just like yourself that collect these things. So it's like a community thing. So a lot of men get into this for community. It's like, um, it's like, you know, people who do golf, people who collect cars, people who ride motorcycles, all these different things have their communities, something you can belong to. So that's another reason grown men collect action figures. Cause yes, there are communities for these things. So third on my list, escapism. Uh, when you get into these hobbies, it's a form of escape. It's a way to get away from everyday life. You can like lose yourself into the world of action figures, like things that go along with it. Like some people like to hunt. They like to go on toy hunts, that type of thing. The shopping aspect, this is like <laughs> the male version of shopping for women. It's just the way they escape. All right, fourth on my list. Um, it's a safe addiction. In the different action figure communities, you hear people say things like plastic crack. And uh, you also hear comments like, um, uh, I could be doing something worse like gambling, buying actual drugs, but instead I spend my money on these type of things. So it's a, a safer addiction 
versus out there doing something else crazy like blowing your money in the strip clubs I mean it's a reason it's a reason ask any collector they'll tell you <laughs> that's one of their reasons fifth on my list the artistry like for me now this is why this is this is the first one was me nostalgia and this one is also me the artistry I love the artistry of the pieces that I have like me I'm an artist draw do music all that type of stuff so this type of stuff draws me in like when I get like a die cast car I love just looking at the intricate details of it, staring at it in the display, just tripping off the, the fact that they was able to get something that intricate and detailed in this small form. That is crazy, man. Like, when you look at these pieces, it's like going to an art gallery, at least for me. I keep my stuff in like museum style, and every time I look at this stuff, I'm just looking like, damn, that is crazy how they managed to get this thing in such a small form and it looks so realistic. And even when I have people come over, they get stuck. Like, damn, that looks just like, you know, the person or the car or whatever. So I, I, I love the artistry of the pieces that I get. Stuff blows my mind every time I unbox something. All right, number six, deprived as a child. This kind of goes back to what I was talking about earlier, where my mother, even though we was poor, she still made sure we had toys, transformers, all that good stuff. Some people were not in that position, although we were neither, but my mother made it happen. But some people's parents didn't get them anything, you know, nothing for Christmas, birthdays, anything. Just straight up poor. They got to an age and a place in their life where they had money and now you can afford to buy all this stuff. So you buying everything that you didn't have as a kid. All right, number seven, um, stress relief. Long day at work, come home, sit down, grab your beer, I don't drink. So for me to be a root beer, sit down in your chair, throw on a movie, hit the lights to the display, sit back and just relax, look at all your extravagant pieces, or you watch the flick or something, or you might not even turn nothing on, you just might just turn on the display lights and look at the collection while you smoke a cigar, drink a beer, whatever. Just a form of stress relief. What's up? Number eight, some men collect as a way to connect with their children. Mainly like, most likely men with their sons. Like you go buy toys or you even take them with you. Take them with you to the toy store. Department store, we ain't really got toy stores no more. Like, Toys R Us is gone. KB Toys is gone, at least here in the States. But you still got like Target, Walmart, and it's just a way to bond with your children. You see them buying stuff that you used to have when you was a kid. G.I. Joe's, Transformers, Thundercats, He-Man, all this stuff that was out when we was kids, they now putting back out for this generation. And you can go to the store with your son, sometimes your daughter, and be like, oh, I used to have this as a kid. You should try this out. I loved it. You might love it too. So it's just a way to bond with the children. All right, all right. Number nine, character connection. Say you watch a movie or a TV show and it's somebody you relate to, you like, I'm feeling that character, right? And then you find out that they made a piece. So you buy the piece because it's a character that you connected with in the movie or TV show. And some men, that's the reason they have certain characters that they purchase. They might not even have a whole collection. They might just have one or two pieces of characters that they really connected with. 
They just they just want to put on display. That's simple. And my last reason, number 10, for me, probably the weakest reason, but it is a reason. Number 10, some men collect in order to make money. They kind of view this as like investing. Now, me personally, I think this is a poor way to invest, but there are some men who look at this as a way to invest. You know, they buy pieces, they sit on them, they don't open the box, none of that type of stuff, hoping like in five or 10 years that the value will shoot up and they can make a profit. Things like hot toys, like certain, well, at, at one time there used to be, there used to be a time when you could buy like a hot toys Iron Man, sit on it for a couple of years, and then they double and triple your money just from having it because the value shoots up. Now with reissues and that type of thing, you're not making as much money as you used to. But there are some people who buy strictly for the purpose of trying to make money. I think there are better ways to invest, but we're not on that right now. We're just dealing with reasons why adult men collect action figures. And that is one of them. And that's all I got. Came up with 10, there's probably more, but I'm just gonna do the 10. If you got more, you can drop in the comments, give your reason why you collect, even if it's one of the ones that I listed, and we'll rap about it. Now, this is a bonus right here. This don't go on the 10, this is just me talking. The reason why adult men collect action figures? Because we want to. Because we can. Our money. And that's it. I mean, if you got the means and you can do it, hey, do your thing. Regardless of what people think, what they say, if I got the money and I want to buy something, I'm going to do it whether it be something like this, or a car, or whatever. And that's all I got today. I'm gonna get up out of here. You all make sure you like, share, and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. This has been another action figure video. Don't make no mistakes about it. I'm a grown ass man. Peace.